Hi YouTube, good afternoon. Today I want to show how I install the SAE connector on the Triumph Speed Twin. This is the SAE connector. I just got it from Shopee or you can buy it also from Aliexpress. Uh, this connector is for the battery which I'm going to connect it to the motorcycle battery. You have an outlet here that I can connect to a charger. This is a SAE connector. And without this, if I need to charge the battery, I have to use this kind of connector which clip to the battery terminal and the other end will be plugged to the charger. So this is a bit cumbersome because I will require to remove the seat and connect it in and put a charger. So it's a bit of a, a problem because the seat has to be uh, removed uh, and leave the charger probably overnight or over a prolonged period. It's best to have the seat installed and the charger outlet if I use this SAE connector it can be routed to a position where I can connect the charger uh, easily. It's very cheap. Uh, it cost me about nine ringgit Malaysia, so less than two dollar US. Uh, including shipping, is about two or three dollar US uh, each. So, all right, let's go on with it. I'm going to connect this to the motorcycle. This motorcycle battery access is very simple and all I need to do is remove the connector from the ground negative and the positive then I just add this wire in towards uh, in the positive and negative terminal then I'm probably going to route the wire through, through to a location most probably somewhere around here or in front I will let I will have a look at what what's the best position to put in then I will finalize the installation yeah it's quite a simple job probably hardly take about 10 minutes to do I have a camera installed on the motorcycle so the wiring for the camera will need to just be lifted to have a clear uh, working look position condi uh, condition so I just need to just lift up the wire of the camera probably some of the cable tie need to be cut so cutting few of the cable tie just do not want to disturb it too much so okay so, right some of this connector can be disconnected but it's probably not necessary right okay it's easy enough so anytime you are working with a motorcycle or any batteries at the car or motorcycle please uh, remove the neg negative terminal first it is for safety so negative terminal this is a size 10 millimeter spanner just remove the negative terminal to be safe Okay, negative terminal is removed then we need to remove the positive terminal under this cover right probably it takes some doing on the positive terminal so once we have disconnected the uh, negative terminal make it make sure it's not touching the terminal anymore just to be sure put it aside it's not touching anymore then the uh, negative terminal is uh, the positive terminal is safe because if you accidentally touch the positive terminal with your spanner to any metal parts there will not be any shortings that's the reason why the negative need to be removed first don't ever remove the positive first because if you uh, accidentally touch the terminal of positive to any parts of the bike it could cause a sparking it's on more on safety whichever terminal is grounded that's the one that you need to 
remove first because in the during the early uh, years back some cars uh, in the United States they have a positive ground so in that situation remove the positive first so what you need to do is just put the wire in through there and just piggyback onto the connector this takes some doing so I got to put this over this so well it's going to be this way and I need some persuasion to do okay right okay okay right now I need some kind of uh, fish it out okay right managed to get it through because uh, I do not want to damage this uh, the what they call this rubber boot this is good okay looks good and no one also at the same time we do not want to stress the wire there's a fuse box here quite close to the terminal so it's a bit an off, off and outward position to start off the screws it's best to use a screwdriver so now we're going to slowly put it back in and got a screw with a screwdriver well this screw is non-magnetic because uh, for battery terminals it's probably a soft material so just put it back in slowly easy does it let it catch okay it's catch now we'll see because we do not want anything else to be in that okay right yes I'm going to tighten it up see so you're going to tighten it up I'm going to tighten it up with screwdriver then I'm going to finish it off with a spanner finish it off with spanner make sure the wire are all in a good condition position there's no kink chafing so let's see okay this is a, a quite a slow job you do not want to rush this because wiring electrical wiring uh, if you are not you don't do it properly you can have endless problems so it's quite tight then we're going to put back right the cover over it yes so the positive terminal is done and the only thing is that now this fuse need to be in a position where it doesn't interfere with anything so probably I'm going to put it somewhere here I can use a double sided sticky tape and stick it here okay and it doesn't affect anything and I have to make sure the wiring for the um, for the camera is good also okay now next thing is to make sure I can put everything back in okay now it's the negative terminal okay for the negative so it's best to do it from underneath now the negative terminal and with the the other lock at the put in so this is a simple one make sure it is in no problem there's some sparking or arcing but it's not that bad okay I wish the ter screw terminal is smaller so that's the negative terminal is in just tighten it up so this screw is quite soft you don't have to go overly tight anyway just make sure you have a good electrical contact right 
that's a talk leading value but i do not have a talk i do not have a small enough talk uh, range so will not be able to do a uh, no problem okay the wire can be put back and next thing to do i need to route this towards the position where i want it to be so best is probably i want to put it through the bottom piece here right uh, we also best to remove this so removal of this is quite easy just pull out the item here and that's it just pull because it's just holding by uh, it's a very simple kind of hole just put it aside yeah, I do not want every time I need to charge I need to remove this panel but I do not want it to be too difficult too so let's see how best to do it oh I don't need to right looks okay okay then I need to put this cover here then I only then I can position best as possible okay let's put the cover back okay let's put this cover back in okay front and rear okay cover is been installed so most probably I'm going to put it somewhere like this right so I know that it will not interfere it goes in through this side and just tidy it up yep. so I will just tidy up the wires anyway if I need to remove the batteries I just cut the cable tie the cable tie doesn't interfere with any, anything with regards to the battery replacement it just make it tidy so then that's it no big deal that's it the position now all okay right and just want to tidy up because when you work with wiring it's good to have a, a very tidy installation okay let's have this and let's see how this right all okay okay let's uh, cut the wire and then that's it right finish with this okay all done uh, let's put back the seat the best most important thing in the wire is look tidy and it doesn't uh, shave with anything and occasionally we need to check this because just in case due to vibration there's some wiring that is uh, been shaved with uh, position uh, metal parts nearby i have a charger with the a ctec charger with the other part of the sae connector so all i need to do is now to just to plug it in into the new outlet hey, that's the outlet just take it out and plug it in okay that's how it is and immediately the charger has been uh, checking is the power is not been on yet so it's just check the last switch it on right let's switch it on now it's charging under motorcycle mode great especially for the restricted movement order you cannot go anywhere the bike need to be charged so no big deal uh, let's put the seat back in right all done thanks for watching bye